Welcome back to another episode. And guys, we're going to talk about Doc Hollywood from Warner Archive, starring Michael J. Fox, Julie Warner, Woody Harrelson, Bridget Fonda, and just a complete cast of great, great actors and actresses. This is a great cast all the way across the board, guys, and a fantastic, fantastic hidden gem, really. I mean, I, I know a lot of people probably do know about this movie, you know, starring Michael J. Fox, but, you know, once you get past, like, you know, Back to the Future, you know, some of his other movies may not be so well known. And I think Doc Hollywood is one of those films, and it's definitely a film deserving of people knowing about it. This is just a great romance comedy that I absolutely adored when I watched this. Michael J. Fox, I'm telling you guys, it is such a shame, you know, that he was stricken down with such a, you know, horrible sickness, horrible disease. This guy, so much charisma, just way so, it was so much charisma in it with this guy. Amazing. You know, and obviously, we already know, as Marty McFly, you know, he already showed that he had that kind of charisma coming through. And it just shows, and how many films could he have been in, you know, more? Had he, you know, had he not gotten sick? It's such a shame. It really is. Um, the one thing I got to say, I mean, you look at like, I guess, you know, Back to the Future, just for a second, you know, speaking of Michael J. Fox, you know, you go back to that and you realize, you know, Eric Stoltz was original, was the original Marty McFly. And then, of course, you know, they saw it just was not working. They got rid of him. Michael J. Fox was able to come in and portray Marty instead. But those test shots and the shots that they did do with Eric Stoltz, the, the, it's the difference in how Marty would have came out on screen. You couldn't have done it with anybody but Michael J. Fox. Absolutely. I, I completely agree. Nobody else could ever fill that role. And with Doc Hollywood... Uh, Michael plays the role of um, Ben Stone. He's a doctor. And he's basically, he's taking this job um, while well, he's going for an interview, basically, in California, in Hollywood, to become a plastic surgeon. Now, you know, in his last day at his current job, you know, he's heading out on the road. Now, as he heads out on the road, he winds up taking, like, this detour through this, like, you know, this little town, you know, not a lot of people, and he winds up running into a, a fence, and because he runs into this fence this, uh, on this property, this is also the property of the local judge. So the judge, you know, and if, you know, instead of locking Michael J. Fox up, you know, in jail, you know, he makes him do community service. And community service is having to work at their resident, you know, their resident physician at this hospital, their, their local small, you know, town hospital that they have. And Michael J. Fox, very reluctant, you know, in doing this, but he knows, you know, this is the only way he's going to be able to get out of town because his car is, you know, kind of damaged right now. So he's got to do this, work off, you know, all, you know, work off his debt basically to this town, you know, to this judge, but more, you know, more of this judge damaging his fence. Now, like I said, he's reluctant at doing that because he has an appointment to meet up with, um, you know, the owner of this plot, you know, the, uh, the head physician at this plastic surgery, uh, plastic surgery facility in Hollywood. So, you know, he got to get this done and head out that way. But of course he runs in to Julie Warner. Now Julie Warner, when he first meets her, he doesn't realize, but she is like the ambulance driver at the hospital. Now this is a small, you're talking, you're talking about a hospital. This is not a big, this is just a, a, t a house basically, <laughs> but you know, with some rooms that have, you know, because again, it's a small town, but you can see already he is just completely just smitten with her, just taken back by her. And I mean, first time he sees her, she's like, you know, you can blink now. That's one of the lines that she says to him because he is just, you can see that that's, this is the budding romance of the film. And the chemistry between the two of them, off the charts. It definitely comes through, shining through. I mean, it's, I've seen a lot, you know, with a lot of, you guys know, I really like the, you know, the romance, you know, romance comedy films. This one is one of the films where it just, it just packs a punch. The two, you know, between these two, her, you know, the way, the emotion that she shows towards Michael J. Fox, you know, his, you know, his emotion that he shows, you know, what does he have? What is he going to do? You know, is he going to stay in this town or is he going to go off and, you know, become a plastic surgeon in Hollywood, you know, like he has planned now. You know, obviously, in doing this, he also comes across Woody Harrelson. Now, Woody Harrelson is like a um, inspiring like insurance agent of the of the town, but he also, you know, is in love with Julie Warner's character. But you know, he 
Woody Harrelson, but it's not one of those, you know, him and Michael J. Fox, you know, butting heads. It's not one of those things. Woody Harrelson, he's great at everything he does, guys. The guy is like, he's timeless. He just, from Cheers to, you know, to that this, this movie, even to like, you know, in Zombieland, the guy doesn't age. You know, he's like the found, he's like Paul Rudd and Ryan Reynolds. He's like, they found the, the you know, the fountain of youth. And, uh, it's just great. It, it, they, you know, they work out well. Bridget Fonda's character, you know, he's done very well. You could tell she wants to get out of town, and she kind of has a, lot, you know, takes a liking to Michael J. Fox. But, you know, for Michael J. Fox, the one thing that a lot of the town people are automatically think about him is that he's, you know, he's a big city boy because he's, you know, he's going to become a plastic surgeon. He's, you know, he's going to go out to Hollywood, and you know, they just assume, you know, this, you know, he's a big city boy. But you do find out, you know, kind of like halfway through the film that. You know, he's not. He's not from a big city. He was from a small town. And it was kind of like he just wanted to get out of there and wanted to go off and do something else. So now he's kind of like but being pulled back. But, you know, the townspeople, everybody is just so likable. It's just, it's one of those scenarios like if you were like wind up in a small town like this, you might not want to leave either because they're so welcoming, this entire town. But that's about all I'm going to say about the film, guys. I think it looks, the, the Blu-ray looks beautiful. The runtime, 104 minutes. This is from 1991. I think, if I'm not mistaken, I think it still runs about $18 on Amazon. Definitely worth picking up, guys. It's, like I said, part of the Warner Archive collection. But this is a great, great film. Like I said, also, it, like I said, it looks good on Blu-ray. The sound quality is really good. So I don't think you guys will be disappointed if you're into romance comedies. If you're a Michael J. Fox fan, you know, you want to add to your Michael J. Fox collection. This is the film to do just that. It's a great, great film just be careful guys. i mean this is a pg-13 film um can you watch it with the family yes just be aware though um there is one scene when he first meets julie warner anybody who's seen this film there is a little bit of nudity in this film at the, you know, the first time but once you get past that first you know like maybe like two minutes worth in the film it's smooth sailing you don't have to worry about it. so just cover up the young one's eyes you won't have to worry about anything after that um, other than that, guys, it's a great film. Definitely worth checking out. So like, subscribe, and comment if you get the chance. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Take care.